Hey everyone, this is Editing Chris, and I'm here to warn you about a little bit of a technical problem that I had recording this video. I uh, got some keyboard shortcuts crossed between Octagon and OBS, and as a result, some of the Octagon footage is missing in the middle. Uh, but the attempt of the quest is so good that I, you know, I want to push past this and give you the video that I recorded anyways. I'd hate to re-record it and get a much more boring attempt. So, uh, you'll see it in the middle, and hopefully doesn't sour things too badly. Alright everyone, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, bringing you a new deck this week. I am calling No Side Quests Allowed. As you might guess, we are actually focusing pretty heavily on side quests, and the title is a bit of a misnomer. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit about what the deck is going to do, how we get advantage from that, and what exactly we are looking for as this game progresses. So starting with our heroes, as you might expect from a side quest deck, hero number one, Thurndir. Uh, he gets more willpower from all the side quests we complete. He allows us to grab one for our opening hand, for sure. And he's not a lot of threat. Uh, the sort of main side quests that I'm looking for with Thurindir are gather information and prepare for battle. Uh, gather information is great because it's free, it's only four progress tokens to complete, and it allows you to pull any other side quest out of the deck or, you know, any other card that you only have one copy of. Uh, prepare for battle is more expensive, right? It costs you one leadership resource, needs six progress tokens, but if you get it, you get to draw two cards every round, which is huge. It is unbelievably huge how much of an advantage you get in solo from completing that side quest. Hero number two is Hergon. Mostly just because I kind of like Hirgon, and there aren't very many tactics heroes that I do. Um, the quest we're going up against is Escape from Umbar, which needs a lot of combat potential relatively quickly. Which is why Hirgon is going to help us out pretty substantially in sort of achieving that goal. And there's a side quest that works really well with him too. Uh, we have a single copy in the deck of The Storm Comes. And I forget how much it costs and how many progress tokens you need to complete it, but I remember the important thing, which is what you get when you're done. Uh, the Storm Comes allows you to, the first ally you play every round, doesn't require a resource match. It doesn't mean that it loses its sphere affiliation, it just means that you can use resources from any hero's pool in order to pay for it. And that works great with Hirgon, because if you don't play an ally before the quest phase, you can pop in an expensive tactics ally and sort of spread the load around for who has to pay for it. Uh, this deck is pretty heavily skewed towards lore and tactics cards, so our third hero sometimes ends up with extra resources, and it's great if you can just pull those off and use them to play Legolas or Yazan right before you want to take out an enemy. And I said our third hero because I'm trying to keep you in some small amount of suspense, except you clicked on the video and you saw the thumbnail, so you probably know who it is. It's Theodrid. Uh, our hero lineup is very heavily skewed towards questing, and just being able to pass those resources around with these other heroes is huge. Uh, it allows us to pop in three-cost tactics allies relatively easily with Hirgon. allows us to pay for all the Ents that are in the deck, it's just good times. Uh, sort of our, our main ally pool for the deck is, as I mentioned, Ents on the one hand. We've got Welling Hall Preservers, we've got Wandering Ents, we've got Quick Beam, and of course Treebeard, all of which sort of go in to help with questing when we need them, fighting if we need them, and it's okay if they're relatively slow. Uh, we don't necessarily need to ramp up questing quite as quickly as we need to ramp up combat, so the big stats for sort of slow play requirement of Ents is actually pretty good. Uh, sort of other enemies, sort of bleh, 
enemies. Sort of other allies that pop up a decent amount are Sylvans. Uh, we got Legolas, as previously mentioned, there's the Marksman of Lorien, that will allow you to drop an enemy's defense, which is great if you play them off of Hirgon, allowing you to kill things that you otherwise would not be able to earlier in the game. Uh, there are a couple of Nath Guides, which also sort of work similarly to give you a bit of extra attack if you need it. And that's sort of the basis of the allies. There's a bunch of other allies that are just generally good in the deck, but I'll let you see those when we get to them. And the interesting thing about our hero lineup, thrown to your Hirgon Theodrid, and our sort of heavy focus on two types of allies, Ents and Sylvans, is that it's very easy for us to get nine different traits in play. Uh, so to finish off the deck in sort of a fun fashion, uh, we have two copies of the Free Peoples, which you can play sort of late in the game to allow you to quest for a huge amount and still have everyone ready in order to fight. It's just a good time. <laughs> All right, so let's get on to the quest and we will see how we do. Okay, so I have mulliganed and this is the hand that I got, which is not great, but I still have one more draw to try and get one of the really good early tactics allies that I would like. There's my gather information. Um, I mean, and I have deep knowledge if I really need it, so we're not helpless out of the gate, just not necessarily in great shape. But okay, let's see what we get. That's Kizan, who is by far the most expensive tactics ally in the deck, so that doesn't help us get going. Uh, I'm gonna be bold and play Deep Knowledge to draw two cards, raising my threat to 27. Marksman of Lorien is pretty good. Uh, all right, so. I think what I'm going to do this round, I'll play gather information, even though I have no intention of questing on it until we've sort of established ourselves. I think I'm going to save Marksman of Warrior for next round when I probably have to have this Umbar Sentry in play because she can come down, reduce his defense, and kill him. Because I'm hoping to hide him away in the narrow alleyway. So, let's commit characters to the quest. I will send five willpower, and I will put one resource on Thurindir, so that I can play a Welling Hall Preserver soon. And we reveal, uh, this is like the really harrowing moment here. In some of my testing, I got the... Nope, okay, we lose. <laughs> uh, yep, that is game over right away. We didn't make any progress. That's the quest. Uh, yes, I will start over. Uh, that's the sort of unceremonious way that you can lose this quest right away. Uh, the other way that I lost it the first time was... Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, it was uh, another Umbar sentry that surged into a treachery that gave me another enemy engaged with me. And when you're facing down three enemies right off the bat and they all have archery, even the narrow alleyway is not enough. So, I'm gonna reset, we're gonna try again. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. New opening hand. We've got some extra Hallfast Gamgees, which is not really great, but uh, sneak attack for when we eventually draw Gandalf, and a Defender of Ramos or Guthlaf that we can drop into play for one resource off of Hirgon, both of which are pretty great. So let's get started and hope we draw a little better than last time. Here's a gather information. I'm just gonna flop that out there. Uh, I can't play any of these allies right now unless I want to sneak attack someone in, which I don't think I do. We're just gonna hope. So send everyone to the quest one more time. Uh, put this resource on Hirgon. That's a damage. Put this resource on here, gone because I have no lore allies to play. And we're gonna hope my five willpower carries me through. All right, that is substantially better. 
So, up against three threat in the staging area, I will make two progress. I did quest successfully, so let's pay one to put a Defender of Ramas into play. I will travel to Narrow Alleyway. Sort of hides away this Umbar Sentry. Reduces this Port of Harad back to zero threat. And we are already way better off than we were a round ago, or an attempt ago. So, moving on to round two. There is the second piece of the sort of Umbar Sentry blow up. Ah, oh, but I don't... No, I don't have enough attack power on my heroes to Nath guide and kill with the Marksman of Lorien. Um, so I think I'm going to save my resources for Air Store and plan on playing Marksman of Lorien this round instead. So, send five to the quest. I will put this resource on Theodrid. There is no threat in the staging area right now. So this is almost certainly going to make some progress. And I'm still going to go for the main quest because we don't have much of a buffer yet. We reveal Southron Soldier. That's okay because my threat is pretty low. So my 5 up against 3 is 2 progress. Revealing the Umbar Sentry, which comes down and engage with me. I will travel to the Port of Harad, which causes me to take 1 damage. Let's throw that on Theodrid. Uh, there are three Wardens of Healing in the deck, so once we get some of that healing in play, life is good. Um, did this out of order entirely. Quested successfully, so here is a Marksman of Lorien. I do have to Doomed. I think the timing works. Yeah, okay. I think the timing does not actually work out as well for Marksman of Lorien as I thought. So, we'll use the second part of Hergon's ability. We're gonna raise my threat by one to give Marksman of Lorien plus one attack. So now she can kill the Umbar Sentry herself. Not gonna engage this Southron Soldier. Alright, so, Archery one, put on Hergon. I will spend a progress in order to defend this attack. Didn't need to, but that's okay. And we'll kill back with the Marksman of Lorien. This guy's a little rough because he's got three attack. Uh, I guess I'm really just hoping for like Gandalf or something here pretty soon. Like that. Uh, ask and you shall receive. Perfect. So, one, two, three, four. Some of you probably think I'm crazy, but I need willpower right now. Here is Aristor. I think I'm going to drop Gandalf in during combat. Uh, we need, what, seven to kill the Southron soldiers? Three, four, five. Hmm. Well, that could be a little rough, but... Yeah, all right, so we're going to quest three, four, five, six, seven, eight, committed to the quest. Second Southron soldier. Uh, all right, that's that's not ideal. <laughs> Make two progress. Uh, I can play a tactics ally, so Goofloff is coming in. I'm not gonna boost his stats. Hmm. Oh, I forgot the Theodred resource was gonna go on Theodred because I want to be able to sneak in a Gandalf. Uh, let me discard a Hallfast to Air Store to draw a card. It's a good one to have for next round. Hmm. All right. So I can discard. I can engage one of these. I have to take two attacks. Which kind of sucks, but should be okay. Three, four. Yeah. All right. So I will optionally engage a South Round Soldier. Gets a shadow card. Defend with Defender of Ramas, who takes no damage. Boom. Then in combat, I will sneak in a Gandalf. This guy is going to attack again. Uh, Gandalf is going to do four damage. One, two, three, four. I'd love to draw cards, but then I can't kill this Southron soldier right now. Uh, and I'll defend with Gandalf. Attacking enemy gets plus one. 
So good thing I did not defend with Guthlaf. Gandalf takes no damage, and Marksman of Lorien is enough to kill this Southrun soldier. Gandalf pops back into hand, and we move on to the next round. Hmm. All right, well, one, two, here is a Wandering Ent that's gonna come in handy eventually. Can't afford you on this round, but I can next round. So let's quest two, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna put the Theater resource on here gone so that as I mentioned, we can play Yazan next round and we reveal in enemy territory, okay. Which surges to a Southron archer. All right, so up against five, my seven is two progress, one, two, clears that out. Uh, I can't pop in one of those. Okay. Uh, Southron archer has archery two, so we're gonna do one, two. And we're gonna move on to the next round. I can't have more than five cards in my hand, but that is not terribly problematic. It's hard for me to draw that many cards. Here's free people, which I could actually play right now. We have Dunedain, Ranger, Gondor Scout, Noble Rohan Warrior for seven. Sylvan makes eight, Noldar makes nine, and Ent is 10. Actually, is that worth it? That might be worth it. Uh, yeah, actually, let's let's do it. This is gonna be fun. Uh, so we are going to quest up against in enemy territory. We're gonna send two, three, four, five, nothing, nothing, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So base of ten. Uh, I am going to add the Theodred resource to here, gone. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, play the Free Peoples, which readies every character in play, not just mine, uh, which would matter if we were playing multiplayer. And I get plus one willpower on each of them, so that is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 committed to the quest. Again, targeting in enemy territory. So, let's see what we get. Another Southron Archer is kind of bad, but does not in any way affect my ability to clear out this quest. So, up against 7, that is 11 progress. Add in enemy territory to the victory display, drawing a card. Alright, there's an interesting one. Uh, I still only have one progress on the main quest, so maybe that's bad. Uh, yeah, okay. So I can't clear that out yet. So, oh, I will do one, two, three, four, because I quested successfully to drop in Yazan. I don't want to discard an ally I control yet. So let's engage a Southron soldier who is going to make an immediate attack. Uh, let me defend with Wandering Ent, who takes one point of damage. Uh, I need to do archery four before this happens, so I guess one, two, three, four. And now in the combat phase, this guy is gonna make another attack. I'll defend with my Defender of Ramas, who takes no damage. Uh, and I need seven to fight back. So here's three, seven, basically because of Yazan's response. All right, Southron soldier is dead. We did finish one side quest, so Hirgon is now, or Thurindir is now three willpower. Uh, these guys are gonna be a problem, but I think I will push towards Gandalf. So let's move on to the next round. There's a Faramir, that is absolutely fantastic. Ah. Uh, can't Gandalf right now, can't Hiergon right now, so 
we just have to quest. Up against the main quest. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, yeah, let's do 10. A good chance that'll be about 3 progress. Okay, it is actually 4 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this is nasty, but all right. So, do I want to engage one? I could defend it and kill it. So yes, I'm going to engage a Southron Archer, which costs me two progress tokens. I have to do six archery damage. So here's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Oh, Warden of Healing, where are you? All right, and we defend with Defender of Ramas. Even if he dies, this is safe. Gross. That is gross. Okay, so I have to engage one of these. Uh, I will discard an ally I control because I can't really afford the progress hit, defend with Guthlof. That is totally fine. Guthlof is dead. And one, two progress tokens come out. But there is six damage. Seven with Yazan's response, which is enough to kill one of them. I've had better rounds. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, all right, so we finished one side quest, so Halfast costs two, which I will play. This is going to be useful very soon. Uh, Halfast response as a resource to a hero's pool. Let's drop it back on Theodrid. And I can do one, two, three, four, five. Play a Gandalf. I'm going to one, two, three, four damage to this Southron archer. Uh, this is the most Southrun archers I have ever seen in this quest. Uh, and now we have a good archery buffer and defender. So at this point, all I have to worry about is questing. Uh, we're going to go main quest again, because I want progress buffer. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten committed to the quest. Um, might as well make it twelve. No, let's, let's leave this back so I can defend. 10, committed to the main quest. Nowhere to hide. Gets me an Umbar sentry. That's actually not too bad. Uh, 10 up against nothing is 10 progress. So, uh, no engagements. We go to combat, shadow, shadow. Uh, first things first, three archery damage. One, two, th um, I shouldn't put all of it on Gandalf. Put two on Gandalf, one on Hallfast. Uh, Gandalf will defend this Southron archer, taking no damage. Uh, Wandering Ent will defend this Umbar sentry and remove a token in order to make this a two attack. That shadow does nothing. And there's the seven I need to kill Southron archer. The end of the round, Gandalf will go away. Oh, I forgot a Theodore resource, which was going to go over here. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's let's move on. Uh, all right, good news is we're down to one archery. I still have no healing. Uh, but let's quest against gather information this round, because it will allow me to pull out that Warden of Healing that I so desperately need. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and we're going to put the resource on... Put it on here, gone. 10 committed to the quest. Going up against gather information. Oof, Southron champion is gross. Oh, and it's the Southron captain. <laughs> Alright, Octagon hates me. A lot. 
Good news though, I don't have to deal with him, but he is one, two, three, four threat. Uh, those are time counters, interesting. Uh, he is four threat, seven attack, five defense. Good, good, good. Hmm. I mean, that's probably going to cost us this quest, but at least he's not doing anything. Uh, my 10 up against 4 is 6 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Adds gather information to the victory display. Gets me one more willpower. Uh, allows me to 1, 2, drop a Marksman of Lorraine into play. It's possible that it would be better to wait on that until it's time to deal with the South Run Captain. But honestly... Ugh, that's gonna be a while. So, let's do my gather information. Scroll way down here, pull out a Warden of Healing, close and shuffle. Ah. Yep, okay. So we can't move on until this guy is killed. That's fine, I can live with that. Uh, move to combat. Take one archery damage. Defend with Wandering Ent, removing a token again. That enemy makes an additional attack. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Uh, let's defend this one with Yazan, removing another token. Discard an attachment I control is nothing. Yazan takes one damage, and these two are enough to kill the Umbar Sentry. So I am no longer taking damage every round. <laughs> uh, but I still have to build up until I can deal with the South Run Captain. So, let's move on to the next one. Uh, I'm gonna spend one for Send for Aid, because free allies are great. Spend two for a Warden of Healing. Uh, and I'm gonna save that. Well, if I get assign X damage, I'm basically doomed. Uh, let's heal right now. One off of this Ent and one off of Yazan as our sort of defenders right now. Uh, and we're gonna push towards Welling Hall Preserver next round so that I can take some damage on the Ent and heal it up. Take some damage on this Ent, heal it up, etc., etc. So, let's quest. Up against send for aid. Four, five, six, seven. Put a resource over here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. With four in the staging area. All right. So four, five, six, seven, eight. That is three progress. One, two, three. I will. Do I want to travel to Nera Alleyway? can't narrow alleyway away the south run captain anyways so yes might as well travel to narrow alleyway i'm forced to engage the umbar sentry get the shadow i'm gonna do one archery damage which i will put on who can take one uh pretty much just this wandering ent and yazan so let's put it on yazan defend with the wandering ent removing a token second enemy gets plus two so that is two damage on my Wandering Ent. And I can kill the Umbar Sentry. Hmm. Yep, I can't even Gizan snipe the Southron Captain because he's unique. That's okay, maybe my free ally from Send for Aid is gonna be really good. All right, moving on to the next round. This is turn 10 for those of you who like to keep track. Here's three for a Welling Hall Preserver. Uh, and I will heal one, two right away. And I can drop in Defender of Ramas as a defender this round to sort of take a little heat off of the Wandering Ent, which is good. Uh, so let's quest. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, and I am going to put the resource 
on Theodred because Faramir or Gimli are both quite good. So, my encounter card for the round is Nowhere to Hide. All right. Gets me an Umbar Sentry engaged with me. Uh, that's actually really not that bad. So, 11 up against 4 in the staging area. Is a total of, what does that make? 7 progress. 1, 2 on Narrow Alleyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on Send for Aid. Uh, Hiron triggers first, so here's a Defender of Ramas. I'm not going to Doom to myself. Uh, send for Aid allows me to look at the top 10. Pull out an ally. Ooh, do I want Warden of Healing? Legolas will get me to draw cards. Treebeard would be a big help towards this. I think I need the healing though. Okay, I think I cannot win this without the healing. So we're gonna grab this Warden of Healing. Add this to the victory display. Thurundir is now five willpower on his own. Immediately do some healing. Uh, leave that one, one, two. Okay, that, that works. All right, Umbar Sentry is doing a thing. Uh, might as well put one damage on the Welling Hall Preserver from Archery. Defend with Defender of Ramas, removing this token. No shadow effect. More than enough to kill the Umbar Sentry. Uh, Alright, so now we're just, just building for this South Run Captain. Moving on to the next round, Welling Hall Preserver heals one. Ooh, Furiel is so good, though. All right, uh, challenges right now. Do I want Gimli or do I want Faramir? I think my willpower is fine, so we're going to play Gimli. My board is getting a little bit massive. <sighs> I got four rounds, theoretically, until I have to engage the Southron Captain. Oh, forgot. He's immune to player card effects anyways, so double reason why you can't get on. Let's build towards Furial now. All right, I'm gonna commit characters to the quest. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we are targeting Southron Champion. Uh, before anything else happens, I'm gonna heal four damage from characters. So one, two, three. Four. Uh, picking heroes because it doesn't bother me as much if I lose an ally. Uh, but mostly I'm worried about the treachery that does damage equal to the progress on the quest. So, Southrun Champion. Okay, discard a character I control or raise my threat by a bunch. Uh, we're going to discard a character. Discard Hallfast, he's probably the least useful. So, that was 10 up against 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 progress on Southron Champion. So now, as soon as I can deal with the captain, well, I can move on. I mean, I do have 9 in play on the attack. I just have to defend this hit. If he makes more than one, he destroys everything. Uh, oh no, but he's he's five, so I need ten. All right, let's let's be bold. Let's be bold. We're gonna deal with the Southron captain. Uh, this defender of Ramas is going to go away, almost certainly. So seven attack kills defender of Ramas. Costs me one, two, three, four, five. No, only four progress tokens. Unless this says printed, but it's not. Okay, but I, I survived. Uh, all right, and I will do two, five, 11, which is just enough to kill the Southron Captain and get me my Welling Hall Preserver healing this round. Add Southron Champion to the victory display, bringing Thurindir up to six willpower. Ooh, all right, <laughs> we're on to the next round. All right, it's round 12. Uh, this Ent would heal himself. I am going to definitely heal four points of damage. One, two, three, four. 
no tactics right now, so I think I'm still gonna save for Furial. Let's quest. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fourteen committed to the quest. I could be discarding with Aristor, but I'm like I would like to have these cards eventually. All right, uh, I send fourteen up against one. That is eleven progress, bringing me to thirteen of the fifteen that we need. Travel to Umbar Street because why not? Could put a tactics card into play, but I don't have one. Uh, yeah, move on to the next round. <laughs> they feel really underwhelming after the sort of chaos that we were in. One, two, three, four. Heal up all of our damage now. Um, I think I forgot the Theodred resource last round. I did. So Thurindir should have one more. Uh, which means I don't have to add any more to him right now. So I think I'm going to add to Theodred himself and then I can get Faramir. So let's quest. Uh, I'm just going to send these guys for a total of nine. Theodred's resource goes on himself, as I said. And we reveal Umbar Sentry, which surges into... Oh, we cycled through again. <laughs> oh, this is just my luck. It's okay. We could beat him, though. I know we can. All right, so... Up against four threat in the staging area, I make five progress. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we're not going to progress this round, though, because I'm going to remove one for the Umbar Sentry. So, do I want to optionally engage Southron Captain? I think no, not yet. So, engage the Umbar Sentry. I'm not going to have one point of archery damage. Uh, we're going to defend this with Gimli and remove a progress token. So there's only a two attack. Attacking him gets plus two, so Gimli still takes two damage. But I think that is the worst shadow effect in the deck. So here's these. Kills the Umbar Sentry. And I need to come up with something to defend the Southron Captain soon. But okay. Moving on, again, still fine. Uh, let's play Darren's runes. One, two, I can discard an extra Faramir. Gandalf is nice. He can defend the captain. So, one, two, three, four, five. Here is Firial, who is gonna make this a lot safer. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's me, Faramir. I think I want one, two, three, four, five for Gandalf. Uh, and amazingly enough, I'm going to drop my threat by 5, down to 34. Uh, it gives me a little bit of extra time to deal with the Southron Captain if I want to. And also means that a sort of big... There's not actually that many big threat raises, but mostly it just gives me the chance to skip dealing with this Captain if I need it. So let's quest. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, I should have done my healing first. So I'm going to send 12 to the quest, main quest, obviously. We reveal Injured Companion. Uh, I can skip it, which I think I want to do. So we're going to discard that with Furial's ability and get a different enemy instead. All right. So up against five, we make seven progress, which just turns into one. Now, I can't deal with both of these. So, I will optionally engage Southron Captain. Brings this guy back down to two threat. It's a shadow. I have to do two archery damage, which goes on Gandalf. Um, which does not go on Gandalf. What am I thinking? Let's put it on the Ents. They're the easiest to heal. Gandalf will defend this five attack. I actually think this shadow effect might have helped me right now. All right, so Gandalf takes one damage. Nothing here. Forced to engage this Southron Archer, who is going to remove two progress because I like all my allies. Uh, he gets a shadow a card and he's going to make an attack. Oof. Okay, so this might cost me someone. 
Uh, let's defend with Gimli. Attacking enemy gets plus two. Gimli is dead, so that is... Oh, I should have known that was going to cost me something um, because of the attack boost. So, sorry. I'm going to rewind and have defended with this Ent because it was going to die anyways. So, still costs me two progress tokens. But that's okay because I can do three, six, nine. It's enough to kill the Southron Captain. Yazan spills over one damage onto this Southron Archer. I only have three to attack into it, which doesn't really do anything, but that's okay. Uh, Gandalf goes away at the end of the round, and I move on. Uh, Alright, this Welling Hall Preserver heals himself. Aristor discards Aristor and draws me a Legolas. It's a good card. Surprised I haven't found Treebeard yet, but that's okay. My board is pretty good, except for the fact that all the uh, allies keep dying. So let's go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, committed to the quest. I'm going to put this resource on Hirgon so that I can Legolas next round. This should definitely uh, discard a character I control. Alright, out of all of these, I'm going to discard Aristor. Because I basically can't raise my threat by, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I would just lose. Alright, 12 against nothing would be 12 progress, except we're capped at 15. It's a pretty good state for moving on to the next round. All right. Yep, did all my stuff. So, two archery damage, which I'm going to put on these two marksmen. Swinging for four. Defend Wellinghall Preserver, who takes two. And now I can go heal, 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 heal. And I need less than this to kill the Southron Archer. And we move on to stage two. Combat is over. Shuffle all those into the encounter deck. Eh. <laughs> Discard until we find an enemy and put it into play engaged with me. It's a Southrun Archer. I was expecting it to be the captain again. Uh, this would not be so bad if I had a good defender, but I think the enemy that I would like to hold on to is really not this guy. So, moving on to the next round, since combat ended and I couldn't fight him. Ooh, do I want to wait for Preserver? Or just play Wandering End now? Um, I'm going to discard, discard an 8th Guide to draw a card. Because sometimes that happens. One, two, here is a Quick Beam. It was an obviously great choice. I'm going to drop Legolas into play this round. Yeah, all right, so six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, committed to the quest. Resource on here gone. I have the three that I need to play Legolas. Nowhere to hide. All right, what do we get? Second Southron Archer. Uh, that forces me to discard an ally I control. Oh, which at this point, I think it's going to be Faramir, as sad as that sounds. Um, I mean, I really like having the healers. Yeah, alright. Faramir, you were great. Sorry to see you go. So, 12 against nothing is 12 progress. <laughs> shadow, shadow. I can let these guys kill characters now. And I can kill both of them this round, I believe. Um, no, I can't. Not easily. Alright, so let's defend one with a Welling Hall Preserver. Who takes two damage. 
I forgot my archery. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'll defend the second one with Gimli. Who also takes two damage. Let's heal. One, two, three, four. Oh. I totally forgot to drop Legolas into play, uh, which I meant to do. That will let me kill both of these. Uh, so Yazan and Legolas. Yazan's response puts one damage on the Southern Archer, and their combined six attack puts three more. Is enough to kill and draw me a card. It's not a bad one. And three, six, nine is enough to kill the second Southron Archer. Uh, this is going to force me to pull an enemy out of the encounter deck, but there's a really good chance that it's going to be one of those little Surgy guys and not uh, the big one again. But we'll see. Uh, that's all I can do this round, so we move on. Long Haul Preserver heals one off of Quick Beam. Um, I'm going to pitch this Nath Guide again. Futhloff is pretty good. Do I want a Willing Hall Preserver or a Wandering Ent? I think I'll take the Wandering Ent right now. Can drop another marksman into play this round. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, so let's move into questing. First thing we do is we discard enemies until we or discard cards until we find an enemy. Sure, why not? It's another Southrun archer. Uh, and then I commit characters to the quest. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Basically, anything that's not the captain, I think I will keep, but would let me let me mark my words on that. <laughs> All right, so we were... I did put them in the right place. We're just we're just archers for days here. All right, twelve against four brings us up to fifteen progress on the main quest. I am forced to engage both of these, which is going to cost me four progress. One, two, three, four. Um, I completely got sidetracked. I was going to do this. Drop in a Marksman and Lorien, uh, reducing this archer's defense. I am forced to do four archery damage, so let's do one, two, three, four, because why not? Shadow, shadow. Uh, Welling Hall Preserver will defend one. That shadow effect does nothing, no attachments. Uh, sorry, that was two damage here. Gimli will defend another. Also take two damage. My healing is, uh, is getting a little buried. Kind of a lot buried, actually. Uh, but anyways, three, six is enough to kill this archer with reduced defense. Drawing me a card, Legolas. Three, six, ten... 13. More than enough to kill... Do I want to kill this archer? I do want to kill this archer. Just because I don't want to deal with that archery damage anymore. And we are going to heal up both of my convenient defenders yet again. Uh, no, I'm going to leave one damage on the Ent. Wrong Ent. I'm going to leave one damage on the Ent because it'll heal itself and heal up this damage from Legolas instead. Hmm, move on to the next round. Threat at 38. There's a tree beard. Uh, one, two, three, four. Why not? Uh, let's ditch this deep knowledge and draw a card. Well, could have played Gandalf, but I don't think I need him. So, committing characters to the quest. Uh, first things first, we fish out an enemy. Whoops, that was... Alright, so that was... Pretend you didn't see this. Southron Soldier comes out, and I commit to the quest. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, again. And my first card is either raise your threat by one or discard an ally. I think I actually will discard a Marksman of Lorien. I don't need all three of them. All right. 
12 up against 3 brings us back to 15 progress. I have to engage Southron Soldier, who makes an immediate attack because I, I might want to win this turn. Uh, so let's defend with Gimli. Alright, 3 attack puts 1 damage on Gimli. Uh, I forgot, this Preserver healed itself. We're still in the encounter phase. Southrun Soldier is making a second attack. Which does one damage to this Wandering Int. We move to combat. Makes a third attack. Does one damage to this Welling Hall Preserver. And oh my god, we have made it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen damage from Yazan. Absolutely obliterates this Southron soldier. Oh, this is the 18th round after that little bit of a fiasco early on. But we have done it. We have muscled out enough allies, enough encounter control, enough wardens of healing to deal with so many Harad enemies. All right, everyone. That was a little draining, but hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.